guys, what is up? This is Theo here, coming to you live with another video. Today I'm going to show you, um, as the name of this title denotes, how to convert your SCSS or your uh, SAS into CSS. Um, so yeah, let's get started. As you can see, I have one file here called style.scss and one called style.css. This is just an example of what the output would look like, how you can nest it here, container.item.itemdetail, and then it will output it like regular CSS. So obviously you can see that this makes writing CSS a hell of a lot easier as you don't have to write out you know, all the parent elements um, to find the selector that you want to use, um, at least not as much. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we have these two files. So for me, they're located in the same directory of the desktop. Uh, what I want to do is um, go here and do sass watch, the name of the file. We want to watch to compile in regular CSS followed by the name of the file that's going to receive the regular CSS. And once we hit that, it should say sass is watching for changes. So let's just try it out again. Container.item.item detail. So we make the color red. We save that. I guess mine just takes a little while, but should compile it. Let's see. Sass is watching. Sass watch style.css. This is watching. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it took freaking forever, but you can see change detected and writing. I don't know why my watcher is so slow, but um, basically what it did, it just nested it, you know, correct CSS way as, you know, another example would be dot book, dot page, dot line, um, line height, 10 pixels, right? And then if we go in here again, and we save that, if it ever decides to compile, then we'll see. Let's see how long this takes. Come on. Any day now, maybe it'll write it and detect it. All right, there we go. I don't know why my Mac's so freaking slow. That's basically it. And the last thing I'll show you is um, sort of a variable we can make. You know, we could say, um, we could do uh, background color, set that to be red, right? And then we could just do, uh, we could do this background, background color. And we'll just set that equal to background color. Now if we output this, let's see, did it do it? Okay, yeah, it did it. Now if we change this to blue, should pick it up any day now. Okay, there you go. So um, it's always followed, or it's always preceded by the dollar sign. All right, guys, that's it. Pretty quick tutorial on how to convert your SCSS into regular CSS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.